All right, YouTube. Um, I actually updated the firmware on the A72 to 3.1.0. Um, in this video, I'm actually just going to literally show you what it's doing. Um, I have mixed mixed feelings about it. I've done it. I obviously can't go back. Um, but you know, someone's got to do it, so everyone else can you know make the judgment um, themselves whether they want to do it or not. Um, there are some things that I like. There are some things that I do not like and there are some things that I wish Sony could have actually addressed um, which they did not um, and uh, you know anyway so it is it is what it is um, just just to be very clear on this video there there are some you know um, things that I want to get out of the way in the beginning of the video uh, because then I'm going to get right into it with the camera and show you how it actually behaves um, and what it does um, you need a full battery charge do not do this with a half battery charge this is a very big update you will run into trouble if if you run out of battery it does take a little bit of time just to even download and and to actually do the upgrade it's it's pretty big i mean it's over 200 megabytes uh is what the file is that's that's compressed so um it's pretty significant uh after you're done with the update um, the camera does need to sit for about 30 minutes, um, 30 seconds to at least a minute. Just let it sit there. Um, don't get too excited right off the bat because there is obviously some some serious changes that they made uh, to the face detection and and uh, and some of the other things that are within the camera, um, which you know probably will come out more. Um, and, and surface as you know we take it out into the real world and shoot uh, <clears throat> it's been on my camera for about an hour um, I did a short video on how to get the you know uh, the uh, um, firmware upgrade where to get it from um, it's there in my post uh, also in my previous video so go there and get it uh, this video is not about how do you install it uh, you guys are pretty bright if you can buy a camera like an a7 II you pretty much know how to do a firmware up there update by now if you don't Please look at some previous videos and, and, and get that from there. Um, all right, so th this version, I, I actually went from version 2.0 to 3.1.0. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab the camera now. I'm gonna come in closer so you guys can actually see um, the camera rather than see me. So you can actually see it in action. Uh, I mean, if you guys can see this, I hope the light doesn't mess you up. Okay, here we are. Uh, <clears throat> so right now, I have the Photo Deox adapter on there. And the reason why I'm doing this right now with the Photo Deox adapter is because I want to show uh, <clears throat> that after you do any kind of firmware upgrade, whether it's a Sony or it doesn't matter what the brand is, I'm just going to move the camera a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> you need to be patient um, because the camera needs to relearn um, it's almost like uh, doing a complete factory reset again. So it needs to relearn what you're attaching to it. Um, is it right off the fast, uh, right off the uh, you know bat, you know laser speed? No, it's not. Um, but once it understands what's attached to it, uh, it does perfectly fine. So first thing, I'm actually just going to go in here into the setup menu, um, uh, which is literally your your last one, which is looks like that and then <clears throat> it's option six that will give you the version when you do that that's what you should see after you do the upgrade which is literally showing you that you have version 3.1.0 and the lens version is 0.31 so that's the latest from Sony uh, as of a couple hours ago okay so it's, it's actually done so now uh, I'm actually literally going to go into um, what this does. So it's got the Photo Deox EF adapter um, <clears throat> and Sony claims that Canon lenses focus just as fast on the Sony's as they do on you know native Canon bodies. Okay, that's that's their thought on it. Uh, I don't quite agree with it and I don't quite agree that an adapter can be just as fast but nonetheless it's fast enough and, it, and you can't really tell the difference unless you've been shooting Canon for many 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 years. Um, so I'm just going to show you Initially, you'll see like it starts to hunt. Then now you, you see it doing that. It's still relearning. I just attached it. This is the first time this lens has been on there. Okay. And in backlit situations, it freaks out initially. <laughs> but if I do this, it'll grab. And once it grabs, it'll 
there you go see it's actually learned the behavior with this lens and now it's blazing fast okay so what did they really change a lot of people are like well you know there's no change so i'm gonna wait okay fine that's cool wait i will tell you this uh, <laughs> i shot this camera with the the zeiss 55 uh, 1.8 um this weekend uh for a dance competition and uh it's pretty remarkable i wish i had this update at that time because they made some serious improvements to continuous focusing in here um so let me show you that uh, let me just get there one second i'm gonna get through this and then come up here and then we're gonna change it to continuous okay so now it's in continuous focus with the canon lens so if you guys can see those green dots in the middle there you see how they uh, let me go to a darker spot here you should be able to see it now um, you'll see how they hover very close to each other okay so let me explain to you what they've changed here and and this is actually much better than what it was um, so initially what it would do is it would actually take I'm gonna point here with a little pencil so you can get an idea so in this little square where it actually does all the focusing for for the a7 II um, it would actually focus here and then it would jump here then it would jump here then it would jump here it would jump all over the place it wasn't very consistent where it, it knew where to latch on and stay there well now what it does it actually has a area which will have all these points just going you know literally grabbing onto it and then as I move it it starts to move and still leave some here and then it moves across so the tracking should be greatly improved okay um, and that's a very big plus so you know if you don't need that if you don't shoot in continuous mode if you're not tracking birds you're not tracking you know people dancing on the stage and or kids flying by you it doesn't matter right uh, but in a wedding situation i think it's kind of important you know, you know if you can do that because there's so much movement going on so many things going on it might not be a bad thing to have at your disposal okay so enough of that so there there are differences there obviously you know sony didn't go through the trouble to make a 200 some odd megabyte update uh just because it felt like it um they really feel that uh you know it deserves the change and and it's a it's a very welcome change and i and i really appreciate it because i was really on the fence on whether i leave this in the bag for situations like that but now i think i can take it out and and do that with the, with a lot of confidence um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off this lens. I'm gonna put on another new lens on there that's never been on there before. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna see. This is a 24 to 1.4 Canon lens. Pretty expensive lens, about 1,700 bucks. Um, and the reason why I put this lens on there is never been on there before. You know, so let's go ahead and actually put it back to um, single shot. So you can see, initially you will see that it's going to try to hunt. And once it's there, and it learns this behavior on what's on there, there you go. I mean, it's, it's fast. <clears throat> That's pretty impressive. Um, so we'll take it up to continuous again and let's take a look and this is a super wide angle so i am looking at it and it is actually amazing that it's an amazing change in the continuous autofocus it's just gripping on it's doing very similar similar face detection to to what i have uh on my fuji xt1 um, and that's one thing that was really lacking from the Sony's and, and the a6000 used to do this a lot is to just jump from one place to the other um, And I'm pretty sure that they have improved it in all the cameras So this is really big for Sony and I'm very happy that they have actually, you know, taken the time and gone through this um, So that's one thing. All right. So I'm, now I'm just going to show you What it does with a, um, with a Sony lens on there Okay, so initially, um, and I'm, I'm putting this one on there because of the way it's just light. Um, it's a 16 to 50 power zoom. Um, so initially when I first did the upgrade, and this is the first lens that I put on there, um, it sat in the crop mode. It is a crop um, lens uh, made for the APS-C, um, not, not for the full frame. Um, it actually couldn't figure out whether it was a crop 
uh, lens or not for at least 30 seconds. So that's all I can say is when you turn it back on after your first boot, let it sit there and let it let it just do its thing. And but once it knows what it is, um, and it and it latches on, and this is uncontinuous. You can see how it's behaving. It's unreal on on how it latches on and stays there, no matter what I do. Um, I'm gonna go to single shot and show you that. Um, it's right here. It's awesome. Um, the other thing is, um, when you go to the movie mode <clears throat> with, with native lenses, um, you, you'll start to see how it will grab focus without you even realizing it's done it. Um, it's greatly improved, uh, vastly improved. So um, again, my thoughts um, on this uh, upgrade, it's really your choice if you want to or not. Um, I think you should. Uh, if you're going to keep the camera and you're going to really shoot it, um, you know it's better to have that. And it has the latest, um, you know, lens profiles in there. I'm sure a lot of the corrections and all of that's added in there. I think it's got the uh, the new two new Sony or three new Sony lenses that they've introduced. <clears throat> those profiles also loaded into the camera, and those are important to have if you're going to be buying such expensive glass to make sure that it's made it correctly uh, for the sensor and you have the right firmware to do the do the job. Um, anyway, so that's just a, you know, initial one hour review on this thing. Um, I can't really speak beyond that. Um, all I can tell you is uh, it looks good. Uh, I'm pretty excited about trying it and uh, really putting it to the pace. I have a very big um, event coming up in uh, beginning of April. Uh, the A7 II is probably going to go through the whole rigor like it did uh, this past weekend to really see if it really can stand up and, and allow me to um, put my Canon 1D bodies and, and leave them in the bag, um, you know, and not use them and, and get away with just shooting mirrorless all the way. Um, this past weekend, I was able to do that between the A7 II and the X-T1, um, which is uh, pretty remarkable. They're both very different cameras. Um, you know, the images are different, the quality is different. Um, not to say that one's better than the other, they're just different and they're designed for different things uh, and, and how you shoot. Uh, you want a really rapid fire camera, um, you go pick up the A6300 or the X-T1, they're fast, you know, 8 to 10 frames a second, that's what you need. Uh, and they're dead on, they're amazing autofocus. Um, with uh, the A7 II, you want people to look beautiful, you want the full frame advantage, um, you want to be able to make beautiful full frame glass on there. Um, then, then go ahead and get get the A seven two, uh, or or that line of uh, you know that family of, of of bodies. So again, um, Sony's done it, uh, and they've done a great job with it. Uh, I'm actually very pleased, um, very very happy to see them step up to the plate and fix an issue that I really faced this weekend. Uh, and and on Monday morning, it's already here. The fix is here. Uh, I can actually see the difference instantaneously. So. Uh, hats off to Sony for doing that and uh, you know um, look forward to you know reviewing a lot more of their products um, that are that are coming uh, <clears throat> and hopefully make some suggestions to them based on um, you know shooting out there in the real world uh, in in the bullpen shooting the 10 to 12 15 frames a second um, you know rather than just shooting little kids running around is a different world and and I think the more photographers that they have uh, that are true photographers to the art, um, give them that kind of feedback. That's the only way they'll be able to improve things like they've done here. And it uh, looks like they've actually listened and uh, they've done a great job. So, again, hats off to Sony. Um, this is not, you know, uh, a Sony bashing or Sony bragging video. This is just laying it out there. I like to lay it out there. When they do something great, I put it out there and when they actually screw something up, I tell you like it is, you know, it's, I don't get paid by them to do, to make these videos. Um, and you know, uh, with artisans sometimes, you know, it's a vested interest to, to tell you things a little bit different, uh, more diplomatically rather than straight out. Uh, I give you straight out videos. Uh, I, I put this out in the field. I got clients that pay for this stuff. Uh, they pay for the images that come out of these cameras. 
Um, so to me, it's very, very important that the camera delivers to what they claim that it's supposed to do. Um, anyway, like, subscribe if you like the video, share it with all your buddies, um, you know, and everyone else in the, in the Sony community all over the world. I mean, whether you have one or not, um, and, uh, you know, leave your comments below. Um, my videos are not, you know, overblown and, you know, um, beautifully done in the studio. I'm just an average person, you know, and, and hopefully, um, most of you can relate to that. Um, I run my own business um, and I have a pretty decent photography business so I can't complain. I do have clients that pay good money for getting a good product uh, and and so in, in due respect I'm very cautious on what I bring into my into my bag and I honestly feel that the A7 II has earned a, a space and, and a spot in my bag um, after literally six months of just really torturing it left, right, and center in many different situations. So great job, Sony, and I uh, look forward to doing a lot more. Um, and talk to you guys soon.